uh, US Defense Secretary have come out in the open now and basically said that they don't want peace. They want the war to continue in order to weaken Russia. And they are the ones fanning the flames. They see an opportunity to open up a market, obviously, for their filthy frack grass. Their arms industry is happy days because you can't have an arms industry if you don't have an enemy. And big players in the US and Europe are dependent on Russian oil and gas. So they're not going to give that up. So meanwhile, while sections of America want us to bankrupt whole industries in countries like Germany, and the German leadership seem to be willing to go along with that. In America, they're continuing to do business because they say, well, sure, we have to. This is our, our jobs and our economy. We have no choice. I do think that a lot of people in Europe are scratching their heads. They don't know what's going on. They hate to see the destruction in Ukraine, but they're just getting this mantra of we need to send more arms, we need to send more arms, we need to have more sanctions, we need to have more sanctions. But they're not really getting access to critical thought about where is this leading? When did sanctions ever end a war?